Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by. Getting into it, in front of me I have the Son Gohan Kid Era SH Figure Arts figure. So I haven't opened it yet. It just came out. Um, I just got mine because I was also waiting for the Piccolo uh, update to come as well. So Brown Shipper Box is a web exclusive. Once again, I thought this was going to be a general release, but there we go. Let's get this open and removed from this shipper box so we can see what the actual packaging looks like. And then after that, the figure itself. And here we have the packaging. So you can see it's pretty much the same kind of theme as the other Dragon Ball figures in recent times. So you've got the window display with the text of Son Gohan uh, down the side, and then you can see what he comes with. So default head is with the haircut, I guess. And then the alternate one is with his unkempt looking hair. I personally prefer the unkempt looking hair, which you kind of use a photograph of it there. Uh, but you know, up to you which one you want to use. They're giving you both, so that's pretty cool. Got a glimpse of the other facial expression in there as well. So we'll take a closer look at that shortly. On the other side, We've just got just a few photos of him in black and white. And down on the reverse is just some information about him in English and Japanese. Um, he also comes with one side Dragon Ball, should we also mention that. Pretty pl plain on this side, top and bottom. So same kind of thing as previous Dragon Ball figures. So with Gohan out of the box, you can see the optional parts that he comes with. Some cool stuff overall. So before it rolls away, I'm going to go through the one star Dragon Ball first. So this is just a pure translucent orange sphere. It's really well made actually. Um, just a really simple sphere object with just a one star painted on it. Um, the other figures, not all of them, but some of the other figures have come with uh, the other Dragon Balls as well. So the up to seven stars. I don't have all of them and I haven't opened the ones that I do have. So I'm not sure uh, on the quality of those. Probably the same. Uh, but this one comes with, yeah, this one is the large size one star Dragon Ball. So I'm going to put that out of the way and it might roll off still anyway. Then you can see the other stuff that he comes with, so alternate face, head, hands, uh, that you kind of saw a preview of in the box itself. So let's go through the hands first. So he comes with the two fists on him, and then he comes with two open-ish palm hands, well, fairly open. So I placed these next to the uh, one-star Dragon Ball itself because these are used to hold on to that. Uh, the paper leaflet advises you to buy a separate stand. Of course they would, but if you just have Gohan kind of holding them, you know, uh, palm upwards, then it shouldn't fall, but otherwise, yeah, it might fall fall down. Then you've got the open palm hands like so. So all of them use just a, a pale flesh tone on them. So really tiny, tiny pieces for him. They're pretty much the same hands that came with Kid Goku as well. Then you get these ones, the battle pose hands, with the fingers and thumb uh, if, um, extended out. Then you get the other pair of hands, which are slightly scrunched hands. Like so, a bit hard to hold on to because his parts are so tiny, given how small the overall figure is. Then you get an extra pair, of, one, well, a pair, but one extra hand, which is to hold the teeny tiny dragon radar, which you can see right here with some detail on there. So you just place that in like so, and that's it, simple. And then of course you just replace the hands that are on him. Very simple stuff for the most part there. Then he comes with the alternate head, so this is Gohan's unkempt hair when he's in training uh, and then post this hair as well, really, uh, I suppose. So you've got a really cool looking sculpt hair. This little bit here, the mullet bit, does move like so and twists a little bit. And you can just see the underside as well. And then, yeah, in order to remove the or swap the face on this, you just remove his front bangs or fringe like so. Take off the face and then replace it with the other two that you uh, want to use. So it's very, very simple. It's the same for the other head as well, which I'll show you. But overall, I really do like this, this uh, hair and sculpt. It's very cool. You don't get uh, the bandage, but I guess you could kind of do one and make one yourself. Um, and you don't get the one where he is a slightly different hairstyle to this, where it's a bit similar on the top, but the mullet is a little bit less, which happens after this hairstyle. But that's getting into way too much detail and... Yeah, there's too many hairs to go through, hairstyles to go through. Then in terms of the face plates, the optional face plates, so you can see that one right there with a very serious expression. And then you get this one here with his mouth wide open and looking straight ahead. Really, really clean looking paint. Straight the other side. And then you get this one where he's kind of frightened as well. So I, I, I really like this expression. Overall, I really, really like the clean looking uh, paint and job that's been done on all of the faces here. Really, really cool stuff. Let's get into the figure now. So getting into the figure itself. Now, if you have or have seen 
the Kid Goku figure, whether it's the orange suit one or the purple suit from Dragon Ball, this is pretty much the same thing. It's the same kind of size, same sort of build and engineering to it, same articulation. It's the same thing. And that's not a bad thing. I really, really liked that Kid Goku figure. It's still one of my favorite figures that I own. So this being very similar to that is only a good thing, really. So because this is Kid Gohan, let's just go through him uh, very quickly. So you can see this one is got his default head, which is, um, I don't remember the name of this hairstyle, but it's the one that he always gets mocked for. Uh, pretty kind of um, bowl cut looking, I guess. But yeah, that's what you get as his default one. But like I said, you can easily swap it with the unkempt look if you like. So yeah, he's got the serious expression face and then he's got the little muffler kind of thing around his neck. That doesn't move or anything like that. It is placed solid. And his jumpsuit is just a dark purple and then he's got the red sash around his wrists and his waist. Whereas Kid Goku had the belt. And then, yeah, the rest is, again, purple. And then his boots, which are, again, slightly different from the Kid Goku one. So you've got a little bit of effects going on the boots as well. So pretty cool overall. It's not nothing you know too crazy, but it's fine. It's true to design uh, as far as I'm concerned. So really cool in terms of uh, overall looks. So then articulation, again, it's going to be the same as Kid Goku. So you can look down, up and down, side to side, like so. Uh, and then his shoulders can twist all the way around. It's a bit hard to kind of do it with big hands. You can twist them around like so. And they do come up just a wee bit. And I say wee bit, it's a good amount for the size of figure it is. Got twist at the uh, bicep. And then the bend. And then the twist at the teeny tiny hands. Like so. Moving on to his torso. So this does extend a little bit. But you can just push it down so you can see that there. And then you can twist, upper twist, lower twist. You can lean, and then lead, leaning back, like so. And then forward. Oh, that's with the hips, but forward, pretty good as well. Then his legs go up and into the splits, both ways. Got the twist here. Just to show you as well, he's got the uh, underwear kind of. Uh, sectional pieces here, just like Kid Goku and most uh, of the newer Dragon Ball figures have as well. And with the knee, like so. Twist at the ankle. Finishing off with the toe. So articulation is fine, it's the same as Kid Goku, and I like it. For the kind of size that this figure is, it's about 10 centimeters with this hair. It's really impressive that they can still get this much kind of posability out of such a tiny tiny figure balance is a bit of an issue at times because of the proportion of it but otherwise it's really really solid figure and it's really fun to pose like it's genuinely generally a fun little toy to play around with so what i'm going to do is swap some of the parts and then yeah we'll wrap it up so let's take off just his front part of the hair first just to show you you can do it with this hair as well take off the face which should be easy it was easy when I did it. Uh, now it's not. Got to get that grip. There we go. Then let's pick the frightened look. Place that on. Like so. And then replace it. Simple. Now he's frightened. Then you can do the whole thing again with this head. So this actually is the, another slightly different bit from Goku. So you just got it here. But it articulates here at this point. I think it's very slightly different at that this joint that I showed you that moves like that. I don't think the Kid Goku one had that, but here he does have it, probably because of his mullet head. But that mullet head is going to let him move up and down as well, and side to side. So it's all cool. And then lifting up the mullet looks fine as well. Then the hands are pretty simple. I'm going to take that one off and replace it with the one with the Dragon Radar, because it's already done. Now again, because his hands are tiny, it can be a little bit of a struggle. Not in a bad sense, but it's just, you know, as a grown man, it can be a little bit fiddly to do it. But it's fine once you get used to it. So that's with the hands swapped. And yeah, that's pretty much all his optional parts covered. Now I'm just going to bring out Kid Goku just to quickly show you how that looks. And the Dragon Ball is rolling off to the side. So yeah, you can just see how they're pretty much the same figure not a bad thing again like i said i really really liked kid goku this came out a few years ago now it's still one it still is one of my favorite figures it's 
purely because of the functionality and what you can get out of the posability of such a tiny little thing. It's super fun to pose. Honestly, it is such a fun, fun figure to pose that I think a lot of people kind of slept on this one. I feel so I think they did a couple of reissues of this so there shouldn't be an excuse not to get it but if you don't want to get Kid Goku now you got Gohan in the same form and same scale so second chance is here or third chance is here um, and then I'm going to bring out Goku as well which he doesn't fit on camera but I'll have footage up anyway um, he looks great with Goku as well I don't have Piccolo open Piccolo the new version of Piccolo did come out I think before this about a month before a few weeks before uh, but I got them shipped together and I was more excited to bust open Gohan. So in general, to wrap it all up, this is a really solid figure once again. I uh, keep saying it again that it's a really, really impressive feat that they can engineer something so tiny, but so much can come out of it at the same time. I think what we'll see, I wouldn't be surprised if we'll get versions of Gohan in the armor. So same Kid, Kid Gohan, but in the Saiyan armor that Vegeta gives him. Or another slightly different version with different hair. So the hair that I mentioned before that he has a small ponytail at the back rather than this big mullet. Um, and then also when he does get the armor, I think his shorter hair, instead of having it being like a bowl cut, it's a bit more fashionable with like one side a bit longer. That's the kind of hair I would like to see as well. But I don't know if I want to buy a brand new figure, which is basically this plus the extra hair. It'd be a bit, bit of a shame if they did that, which... Again, wouldn't be surprising because that's what they do do for effect event exclusives. But in general, I really like this figure. If you are into Dragon Ball, you like Gohan. And even if you don't really like Gohan that much, I know he started off a bit wimpy. But he's a really, really cool figure to have. And he looks great. And hopefully you can see that in the stuff that I've kind of shown you in this video. If you like this, then check out my channel for some more Dragon Ball figures. And I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully in the future, it'll be the Piccolo one as well. See you then.